Now you saw the story last night after the Olympics. Target 8 went into six Rockford schools undercover testing their security. Well, we sat with them as the results came in, finding there were some things that could be improved on. And this morning, Dr. Scheibler, the superintendent of Rockford Hug Schools, is here to talk about this. We appreciate you coming in here thank to you. talk about this. And thank you so much for participating in this here. You agreed to do this yes. you know, as a reason just to test security. Do you feel like, though, you walked into a buzzsaw? No, not really, because what my goal was to find out if we're doing what we're supposed to be doing. And in this case, in three of the buildings, I had a real concern. And so I had the opportunity to meet with our building administrators and our security staff and say, you know, this, these three instances are not acceptable and we're going to do what we're supposed to do, what we de designed our system to do. For viewers who may not have seen the stories that aired on Wood TV last night mm -hmm. at 6 o'clock here, we had a number of people test the security at a number of your schools right. and in one case, uh, it was up to 15 minutes before that person was finally uh, caught by a staff member. That's certainly not acceptable. It's absolutely not. And, and what I tried to reinforce to our people, particularly in that one building, is that the security staff person is to be at the front door. There's a ta table set up for that person and a laptop. And they do their work right there. And they are trained security. And in this case, that person, it happened during the lunch hour. Mm -hmm. And that in that case, the person was going about the building, but the change is that that person will be at that workstation. Did anybody get in trouble for this? Uh, not in trouble, but let's just say there was a reassessment of mm -hmm. what we're supposed to do, and I take this very seriously. In fact, yeah. the entire district does it. Security is a, one of our priorities. Well, and clearly you do that by allowing us to come into your schools, right. but were you disappointed in the results? Well, I, as I told the reporter, I gave us about a B minus. Okay. Because, I mean, in, in some other cases, though, they weren't able to get in. Other cases were schools. very successful. Right. Yeah. And so, but I'm, you know, we can always learn from our weaknesses. Yeah. There are some immediate do. changes you can make here, and you've already described some of those here by, you know, having people be more vigilant and stay at their posts and that sort of thing here. So you've already made those adjustments right. since this air. Absolutely. And a note has gone out, obviously, to right. the rest of staff members right. here to make sure that the schools are as safe as possible here. But there's some long-term changes, too. Right. Uh, back in August, we identified some key issues we're going to put on a bond issue coming in on May 6th. And one of those key issues is to redesign all the front entrances of each of our buildings to make those particular entrances secure. Mm -hmm. In other words, people will not be able to come into the building, into the lobby area, without going through the office first and being checked. You know, this is not just a Rockford issue. This no. is uh, a, any school district issue. For any kind of parent out there who may have uh, a student in schools right now, yes, um, this happened to your school district, and you guys have a lot of security guards. Do you think that this sort of thing would happen at any other school district that we were to go to if we were to test their security? I think if you would have, we want our buildings to be accessible at least to our community. The front door, not the, all the other doors are locked. And I would assume that in most districts, those front doors are accessible. Mm -hmm. And yes, there could be similar situations, of course. But I think it's up to each individual district to plan and set up a system that they feel will work. And if you're a parent in one of those other districts, maybe you want to talk to your I would talk to your, their building principal for sure. Uh -huh. And if not, and, and beyond that, in the central office. Yeah, no, all right. Dr. Scheibler, I appreciate you coming here to talk about this here. You didn't have to do this report with us, so it was nice that you were so open to allow us to test your security, and I'm glad to see that there's some changes that are going to come out of this. Yes, so. I'm, I'm a firm believer in learning from our weaknesses and building into strengths. All right. Thank you very much. That report also at woodtv.com.